if you want bright purple if you want pink you gotta bleach <laughs> it's me again it's me again i'm back with another video Hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is just a quick 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 video i'm just going to talk about some of the pros and cons of bleaching your hair i bleached my hair in october when i wanted to do a complete color change and it's been a couple of months it's been about six to seven months since i did that and i've seen a lot of changes good and bad about bleaching or from bleaching my hair so I just want to share with you my experience it was my first time I was so scared I thought my entire head was going to fall off <laughs> you know a lot of natural hair people have that kind of complaint so I was just like well I want to change I want to change my look and all of that so I'm going to at least try so I'm gonna start with the pros number one bleaching your hair is the easiest way to get a complete color change now you want to go from a dark color such as black or number two in my instance number two to like a burnt orange vibe or a ginger vibe bleaching your hair is I believe the quickest way to do that and so that's a pro in my opinion because you know you can just go from here to here like in a matter of minutes pro number two if you're looking for change if you just want to do something different that was my case I just wanted a completely different look I decided that well I want a new hairstyle I feel like bleaching helps you to achieve that change that drastic change that you're looking for you want to look like a completely different person you can bleach your hair number three bleaching the hair means that whatever color you're going to put on it it will last longer than if you were to put a rinse um like a hair rinse in your hair instead if you do a hair rinse it will probably last for you know a few weeks before it literally just fades away and you're back to what you had before now don't get me wrong if that's what you're going for something very temporary and you just want to try something for a few weeks then by all means use a rinse i wanted a more permanent change i wanted to look different i wanted a new style so i decided to bleach and i don't regret it another pro of bleaching your hair which is kind of similar to pro number three is that it allows you to get the desired color that you want as opposed to let's say you just take the hair color that you want or the hair dye and you just add it to your hair without bleaching yes you would achieve some amount of color but it won't be as bright it will just be like a dull color that you achieve but when you bleach your hair beforehand or before adding any other color to your hair it's definitely an easier way to get the exact desired color that you want if you want bright purple if you want pink if you want green if you want teal or blue or yellow or red you gotta bleach <laughs> but yeah that's definitely a pro another pro is that it works on all hair types if you have lighter hair if you have darker hair it really doesn't matter bleaching your hair it works for any hair type any hair color and i think that's a pro for sure anybody can bleach their hair any hair type that's definitely a pro in my book however i do have some cons and i'm just gonna jump into the cons of bleaching your hair now number one on the list hmm who you've heard stories you've heard it all bleaching your hair does damage your hair is that true definitely the process of bleaching really means that what are you doing when you bleach your hair so you're basically removing the pigments from each hair strand that's basically what you're doing if i have black hair and i'm so i suddenly have light golden hair then that means something is gonna go wrong right i will 
put a few clips in here just to show you um, what I mean by that my hair overall wherever it's bleached it feels thinner um, it does break more easily I do have some split ends if you want to see more of the bleaching process and how I dyed my hair ginger then I'm going to just insert a video somewhere up here or somewhere on the screen for you to go and watch that after you finish with this video con number two I believe this is a part of con number one my hair got really tangled really knotty really easily so my hair would just be super tangled and I'm just like I comb my hair out detangle do everything that I need to do and then in one day my entire head is all tangled again and I mean that's annoying I'm not going to tell you that it was it's all a bit of roses in terms of bleaching I definitely have I still have a lot of knots I don't know if I'll be able to actually show you the knots I'm going to try I'm acting on Jesus what sweat Ooh. all right so to me once it starts growing out um, it doesn't necessarily look as attractive like when the actual dye starts fading out of your hair and it's just bleached ends it's just bleached ends it doesn't look so cute it doesn't look that great it's not that attractive and you find that you have to do a little bit of touch-ups if you want to maintain that bleached look I wouldn't recommend that for naturalistas to just keep retouching yeah uh, if you're going to do that definitely get a serious trim before actually going in with more bleach and still on that same note when you bleach your hair as I was saying it becomes unattractive and there's like this super sharp line it doesn't fade through like I mean unless you bleach it in a certain way but I bleached my entire head when I did it in October I bleached my entire head so when it started growing out I just started noticing a very straight line and I'll insert a clip here and you just see a straight line of my hair going straight across like you can basically see where the bleach was and where my hair has grown out and to me that ain't cute okay one last thing I don't know if this is a pro or a con. I noticed that my hair texture changed. My curls got looser and my curl pattern just started to look. If you don't want any kind of change to the curl pattern that you have, maybe bleach only the ends if you really want to do it. Or do it in stages. Do highlights, bleach little, little sections instead of doing your complete head and then regretting it. I certainly don't regret it. I'm super glad that I actually bleached my hair. It was a good, it was a nice change. Still on the cons, I I noticed that my hair required so much more attention. Like, if you're going to bleach your hair, do it at a time when you feel like you have the time to actually spend time to take care of your hair. Because Bleaching the hair, it, it requires so much more. You have to de deep condition way more often. You have to wash and detangle more often. If you keep in a protective style, you have to do so much more. It just requires more attention and way more care. And I feel like that's a con if you're a super busy person. If you're somebody who is really, really busy and you don't think you're going to have time for your hair, I wouldn't recommend bleaching just it maybe doing a rinse would be much better for you i definitely will do it again oh and also to know trim more frequently because the ends will become a lot more trashy if you found this video helpful go ahead and give it a thumbs up also feel free to subscribe to my channel it helps me to reach others as well um go ahead and subscribe leave a comment Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Look out for more hair content and lifestyle content from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. This is how parents take selfies. <laughs> I, I hope... I'm gonna
not even put on a little lip gloss. Me say me not put on a little lip gloss. Me do the whole video with me dry mouth. Oh my God. Whole video me talk and my mouth dry. Nobody would even say. Kelly, your mouth dry. Go put on a little something before you go and do video. Not a soul.